River capture is one of the simplest concept in geography that you may score your marks very easily. So before we begin, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to another video. So in definition, river capture uh, refers to or a case where a river cuts through a watershed and intercepts a river flow flowing on a higher level so please note that in other textbooks they might refer it as stream piracy because this is when the river actually robs another river of its waters and this happens mostly um, on a watershed that's what you need to note and that happens on a very higher higher ground so this happens as a result as a result of what is known as the headward erosion so basically headward erosion is known or we can call it the backward erosion so it's a river eroding backwards toward the water shed and the reason we have Headward erosion is a result of the river receiving or increasing energy. So headward erosion is caused by increased river's energy and the reasons um, we have res uh, discussed them in my previous videos um, where we talk about the increased energy in the within the river. So number one is the steep gradient. We know that if your river flows through um, a steeper gradient, mostly it will, um, it will increase the energy or the energy in the speed of flow. Number two is the large volume of water. So as your river receives more, more water, we know that the energy increases. And lastly, we also talk about the resistant rock below so if your river is flowing on a resistant rock um, it tends to be more energetic so this is a typical example of what you need to know or what you need to memorize when we talk about river capture so you talk about the capture stream the elbow of capture, the wind gap, and the capture stream, the watershed, and the misfit stream. Please take note of this because you will be asked an exam, you will be given a diagram, and sometimes you will be asked to label these features. So note these as we discuss how this river capture actually occurs. So, what happens is that normally you'll have your river A and your river B, like as seen in this representation or in this diagram over here. So your river, uh, your your captured river or your river B will be flowing on a on a higher ground, uh, which is um, above. Or rather on the watershed so if you have river A and river B just imagine river A flowing from a very high ground say here over here you have a watershed right so meaning this river is flowing on the other side of the watershed whereas river B or rather river A is flowing on the other side of the watershed so you will have your watershed here River B flowing there and River A flowing just here. Meaning River A is flowing from the higher ground to the source is at the higher ground towards um, the mouth over here. So you will have a headward erosion taking place. Meaning this river, which is River A, because the source is located here, it will do or what will happen is that the headward erosion what we call the backward erosion 
will happen in this area over here meaning all the material here will be um, eroded going backwards up until this river a reaches river b but remember now this when this river is um eroding backwards it's eroding through what through a water shed as this happen um it will now force river b to what to flow its waters or the waters of river b will join the waters of river river a meaning all the watershed that will be here a uh, river a will erode that watershed forming a what a a gorge so as a result you'll have now the waters of river b um, flowing inside river a in a form of what in a form of um a waterfall because remember river b is on high ground whereas river a is on a uh, will be on a on the lower ground remember i said it's a watershed over here whereas river b is flowing from higher ground to to uh, river a is flowing from a higher, higher ground to a lower ground so as it chips or as it erodes this watershed the waters of river b will flow inside river a and <clears throat> as a result you'll have in your second diagram over here you will have now the captured river which is river b now flowing inside the river a and this cave over here meaning this will be your your waterfall right so we call that waterfall or that cave over here an elbow of capture and as now these waters or the water of river b have now um, joined river a you will have a gap here and we call that gap a wind a wind gap so river a will be the capture stream whereas river b will be a captured stream or a captured river and when when um river capture has happened we call river b a misfit stream over time this stream will flow um in a narrow or rather in a wide um river valley and with very minimal water flowing inside i hope that makes sense